Hi, welcome to our tutorial on how to install ROS2 Iron in Ubuntu 22. In this video, we're going to show you step by step how to go from not having ROS2 in your Ubuntu computer to have a fine and new ROS2 Iron. So let's go. The first step is to update, set up and install the UTF-8 local settings. This is needed for ROS2 in order to work properly. So let's execute the following commands. Local, we can see there effectively, probably it already set up. Let's ex execute the following commands just to be sure. As you can see, I had, in my case, this numeric, for example, it's set up like this and language was US. In this case, I had it already set up, but in your case, maybe you might have different setups. Now we have to install some dependencies before we install the bulk of ROS2 Iron. Here we have to press enter just to be sure that we want to add the universe. Now it's time to install ROS2 and some tiny little programs that we need it to work. First thing, we do an update and we install curl. There we go. Now, using curl, we're going to download this ROS archive keyring. Now, with this command, we are adding ROS to our repositories in Ubuntu so that afterwards we are going to be able to update the ROS packages as any other package in the Ubuntu distribution. Now, this last step before installing ROS2 is not necessary per se, but if you're going to develop in some way, which probably you are going to do because you are a ROS developer, you'll need to install the ROS dev tools. Here, just select yes. We now again do an update, just to be sure that everything is updated. And now we do an upgrade, just to be sure that some packages, we have them the latest versions. We select Y for yes. And finally, we execute this command. This command allows you to install ROS Iron desktop, which means everything needed for any relate, anything related to ROS. You'll have Xebo, you'll have RViz, all the bells and whistles from a ROS distribution. And that's it. Now you have it installed. To be sure that it's working, you have to do two things. First thing is we source opt ros iron setup.bash and then we do a ros2 topic list, for example. This is good. This means that at least the basics are working. So now it's up to you. If for whatever reason you need a faster and easier way of having ROS2 Iron working out of the box without any hassle, you can use the construct. Just log in, create a project, and here select the distribution. In this case, from all the ones that you can select, we can select ROS2 Iron and my first project in ROS2 Iron. You can make it private or public. Let's do it just public and my project. A description explaining what it is. And then create. That's it. 
Now you just have to run it. And in a few seconds, we have rust tool iron without any weight. It was like five minutes. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks and see you in the next video. Peace.